Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's great to be here, and uh, thank you all for coming and for all the uh, people associated with uh, Arkansas baseball, the University of Arkansas, and so forth, and uh, the former players. I saw players that played back in the day, like uh, Carson Shaddy's dad is here, and the guys that uh, actually played here with uh, Dave when, when he was a player here. And that brings me to tonight. It's an honor and a privilege to make a few comments about Dave. It's only by the grace of God that Dave is a Razorback. I tried to screw up that recruiting as good as you could. <laughs> and I almost did. We had a chance to recruit Dave out of high school and didn't do it. And uh, it bothered me a little bit. He goes to a junior college, McLennan. He's an All-American. He could have gone anywhere. I thought we were going to lose him to a and and after I continued to screw up the recruiting process, he became a Razorback. And so, Dave, thank you. I always wanted to tell you that. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, you know, and this is, this is true. I can remember games. I can remember against Houston at a and in 1982. Uh, Dave was the type of player that you wanted the ball hit to him when the game was on the line. When the game was on the line offensively, you wanted him at bat. He wasn't going to strike out. He was going to make contact. He was going to come through. Dave's got a lot of confidence in himself. He's got that it that people talk about. And uh, what makes Dave a great coach? You know, there's a lot of people that can coach but Dave, I've never seen anybody command a locker room like he can. He's a tremendous evaluator. And, and his discipline and his example is uh, just impeccable. I mean, I think with, with that being said, a lot of tough decisions have to be made. And Dave can make tough decisions. And I think as we've gone over time, with him bringing the program to where it is today. Arkansas baseball is one of the top five baseball programs in the country. And, uh, you know, it's just a credit to Dave and his staff and the players in what you do. Let's give them a big hand. You know, it's so true and it's, and it's, um, it's hard. I mean, it's a 24-7. I remember when Hal Baird at Auburn retired. I called Hal and I said, well, you're getting out kind of early, aren't you? He said, Norm, he says it's 24 seven. He said, I've just gone long enough. And I mean, Dave does that, his staff does that. Uh, Dave Jorn is here gonna say a few comments in a minute. And uh, you know, they go through that, the staff goes through that, but Dave sets the tone. And I mean, that success has been, I have followed him. After a tremendous player, he was drafted in his first year at Arkansas. He was a newcomer of the year in the Southwest Conference. And he was drafted that year by the Braves. And I was just hoping that he came back because I realized after one year what we had in him. And I can't blame him. You know, your junior year is your bargaining year. I mean, most people go out as juniors. His players do. Um, anyway, so he did. He goes out and goes into professional baseball. And after a couple of years, he comes back and we talked. And I said, well, you need to get your degree. And at that time, the NCAA, you could give graduate assistantships and pay a small stipend, like 100 bucks or something like that. Anyway, he did. Got his degree. And when Dave left us, we got better as a program with him as a graduate assistant coach. I remember a decision he made up the middle in like 1985 that got us to Omaha. That was Dave Van Horn that did that, not me. And, and he continued to contribute. Well, when he went out on his own, he goes to Northwoods and I follow him and talk to him. They had no scholarships. He did a great job in that program. I got a call from Woods, the athletic director at Texarkana. Chuck Edmondson had gone into scouting and they were looking for a baseball coach. I said, Dave Van Horn is your man. They hired Dave Van Horn, the rest is history. Texarkana goes this way. He goes from there, he said, we were talking on the phone, he said, you know what, Central uh, 
Missouri's open. I think I would like to go there. He goes to Central Missouri. He's there one year, they win a national championship. I can still remember watching the national championship on game, on TV. It was so much fun and just so proud of him and what he did. All of a sudden, he leaves there and goes to Northwestern, Natchitoches, Louisiana. And from there, he goes to uh, Nebraska. And, and we're talking about Nebraska, and he said, you know, I don't know if I can get that job or not, but, you know, I would like to try. And so we talked, and uh, I called Terry Don Phillips, who was then the athletic director at Oklahoma State. And I said, Terry Don, Dave Van Horn, and, and Terry Don knew of Dave. He called Nebraska. So I go into Coach Broyles, and I said, Coach, uh, one of our former players, Dave Van Horn, and so after a few days, nothing happened. And I talked to Donita and go back in. I said, Coach, uh, you know, I asked you to uh, maybe call Nebraska for uh, uh, Dave Van Horn. And so uh, he kind of looked at the material I had given him. So I go in there the next day. He said, he has won wherever he's gone. I said, well, yes, that's what I told you. That put Dave on the radar, you know, for, uh, anyway, and he goes to Nebraska, and I can remember back in like 1978, the NCAA tried to get Nebraska to go to Omaha. So they sent him in a regional up in uh, Iceland. And, uh, you know, they didn't win that regional. And I, well, you know, the rest of us were kind of talking that, boy, they really want Nebraska to get to Omaha, don't they? Well, they didn't go, they never went until Dave got the Nebraska job. They go two years in a row. I mean, it was amazing. The people, when we went back with Dave as a baseball coach at Arkansas in 04, I'm going downtown Omaha, I, I, I drive around, and the pe people there just loved him and loved what he brought to the table and loved what he did with their program. I mean, they were coming out of the woodwork. And so that was really fun, and, and, and it was great in, in following him and what he was doing. Um, he built a monster, uh, the whole state. We're proud of you, Dave, and we're so proud of the state. Also, Kevin mentioned the new footprint in baseball. Um, you know, it's a clubhouse, it's weight room, it's student athlete amenities, more so than fan amenities, although we are gonna have some loge boxes. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to compliment again um, the Walker Foundation, they gave a, a lead gift of $5 million. Uh, Johnny Mike and Mandy are here. Johnny Mike was a player for us in the 70s, and uh, they have given so much. And on one other time, I went back to Johnny Mike asking for another gift, and he looked at me kind of funny, and he said, wouldn't it have been interesting if you would have cut me? And I think, <laughs> oh my God. I didn't know, I didn't know if I should laugh or if I should turn away, or what I should do. But JM, you probably mentioned that, remember that. And anyway, it was great. And Bomb Stadium today, if it wasn't for Johnny Mike Walker, who's here tonight, we would not have Bomb Stadium. I promise you, if it wasn't for him. Thank you very much. And. Uh, you know, I want to compliment also, and I'll miss names, uh, but the Razorback Foundation under the direction of uh, Scott Verity, they're doing a tremendous job on every front. And you know, you've got Marvin and Micah and Cassidy and Billy and uh, Matsko and um, everybody that I knew if I started um, mentioning names, I would miss Anna Kay or Leah or whatever. But I just want to thank all of you for what you do because day in and day out, they're out there getting this done and uh, just, a, just a wonderful job. And so in closing, hit them and go get them, slide them both sides. Uh, thank you very much. Dave, congratulations.